Welcome to raiguru.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to set up environment in Rally. So, if you're new to this channel and looking forward to learn Rally from detail, so consider watching my complete playlist. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's jump to today's agenda. Then we'll move further with practical demo so we'll discuss here what is environment how to customize environment how to add new environment with practical example post login g rally we are able to see this dashboard or the home page is available for setting of environment we will definitely need administration login credentials so if you're not having administrator login credentials we are not able to customize or add the new environment or set up the new environment so that's the mandatory requirement we will need here so for customization perspective we have to select on setup and we'll jump to customization fields Let's understand what is environment. So there are diff different types of environment are available inside any specific project. Some of them from the development environment where developers are creating their code and deploying it for their use. There is UAT environment. UAT environment is for the testing perspective. That is the exact replica of production environment. There are several other environments like pre-sales, QA environment or staging environment is also there. So basically that is a specific for the that the user who is using like if the developer who is who wants to use that environment they will use it or the user or the teammates. But considering all this production and staging environment is very much important and that environment needs to be up and ready for every time so we'll check here or we'll create how to add a new environment for our requirement and this is done on workspace level so select your workspace and go to fields from the field sections you can see your environment you can also do it for the user story level or particular to defects. So whenever you are logging any specific defect, you can select it from the drop down list. These drop down list value is available because that value is already configured inside the environment. So it will show to the everyone or the team members this defect is reached in this environment. So let's select your environment and click on add it. Now you can see your development, test, staging, production. These environments are already there. If you want to add a new environment, you can add it from here. Like UAT, I'm adding here the value. And you can see new value is available here. If you can check required field, Definitely that field will be required inside your defect resolution because there are multiple options available here. So this fields need to be marked. So whenever you will select required, so that fields will highlight it with the red asterisk symbol. Now, if you want to change the value of development, you can see this. Just change the value from here, select the value and change it from here. Now let me make it at the earlier one. If we want to delete any specific value, simply select that value and click on delete and that value will be deleted permanently. If we mark it to the all the projects level, definitely you can set yes, otherwise select no. Post configuring all these details, simply click on save and close and this value will be updated inside the environment now you can see here click on add it 
and you can see the UAT is there because I've added last time. Same thing you can also do that for the user story level where you are able to see one stone is there. Environment is not listed inside, but you can create it just doing on create customize fields if you want inside your project. So that's all about environment in Rally. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed the session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.